Welcome back everyone to It's a Nice Pair. This is the series where I review two albums at a time based upon the the name of the series is based upon the Pink Floyd compilation album Nice Pair featuring the first and second albums. But instead, I choose two albums of the same artist to review and we go through them. So these two today are going to be a momentary lapse of reason and the division bell and both of these albums are albums by Pink Floyd and both of these albums the reason that I chose these two uh, is because they were written um, after the departure of Roger Waters so these are the only Pink Floyd albums besides the release of uh, Endless River in 2014 um, that were post Waters albums and so I consider these the David Gilmore classics. So let's get started. Okay, the first one was released. This is a momentary, momentary lapse of reason. I'll get it out in a minute. Uh, this was released in 1987. It was two years after Roger Waters had left the band. And he had told David Gilmore and Nick Mason that they would never make a Pink Floyd album. Uh, they would never, you know, the the creativity was gone. Uh, David Gilmore disagreed. Uh, he and Nick Mason got together and started putting some get together some ideas for an album. Now um, Roger didn't like this so there was a feud, some legal battles, things of that nature that went on. But ultimately David Gilmore won the rights to the Pink Floyd name and released this album 1987. Now, this album, being the first post Waters album, sounded very different than most albums. And also, it was the first, no, I'm sorry, let me back that up. The second album released in the 1980s, the era of bubblegum and gated drums and, you know, Michael Jackson and Madonna. So, this is when pop music really become um, basic and sort of, well, I guess pop music's always been basic, but um, the 80s kind of, um, you know, feel good, everything's up in, you know, um, and a momentary lapse of reason is a little bit of both. It's a it's a little bit of um, upbeat, feel good music, and then some darkness because it is Pink Floyd after all. So um, this album had one major hit on it called "Learning to Fly" and a, a few other little hits. Uh, on the Turning Away, I think, and Sorrow, they are played on the radio quite a lot as well. But this album was basically David Gilmore had gotten together with a lot of different session musicians. And they put this album together and they put it out very quickly. It sounds very 80s. It sounds very dated. It has the gated drums. Uh, there's a few songs on here such as... Um, one slip which i really enjoy by the way sounds um very pop very u2-ish almost but i really enjoy the song i think they did a good job with it um it begins with a song called signs of life and um very floydian i mean when you first hear it you're like yeah i, I get it that is pink floyd um and then it goes into the pop song learning to fly and then you know down the line the thing about this album, um, I enjoy it for nostalgic purposes. I enjoy it because it is Pink Floyd uh, by name. I, really, it should be considered David Gilmore and Friends. But it is my least favorite Pink Floyd album because I don't consider it necessarily a Pink Floyd album as much as a David Gilmore um, solo album with a bunch of people, different people playing on it because really the only person playing on it from Pink Floyd is David Gilmore. Nick Mason has a couple of little roles uh, on his drum set in it, but not much. Doesn't feature a lot of Nick 
and Rick Wright at the time. He plays on the tour, but he's not on the album. So, um, my favorite songs off this album are "One Slip." I really like it, even though it doesn't really sound as much like Pink Floyd as U2. Uh, yet another movie, very Floydian song, but again, it's got that '80s vibe. So, if you've never heard it, you're in for. Uh, a surprise, I suppose. And then Sorrow. I love the way Sorrow starts with the heavy guitar. A uh, very melancholy song. Pink Floyd is a very melancholy band. So, um, But a momentary lapse reads. I love the cover of the album. It's probably one of my favorite album covers of all time. But this is an album that I would recommend for those of you who uh, are Floyd enthusiasts, hardcore fans. Floyd fans, or if you're a fan of 80s pop. Uh, other than that, you know, I mean, I love the album. It's still a great album. It's just not one of my favorite Pink Floyd albums. Which brings me to the 1994 release, The Division Bell. Now, this was seven years after A Momentary Lapse of Reason. Rick Wright had officially joined, rejoined the band, and Nick Mason um, was full-fledged on this album this is a complete album featuring pink floyd members playing their song now of course there are some you know session musicians as well but it's not it's not like an all-star cast of characters like momentary lapse of reason this is a pure pink floyd album it sounds very pink floyd they go back to some of their uh, earlier sounds uh, there's a song called what do you want from me you know, it's going back to childhood in childhood's in time, that sort of sound, that sort of Pink Floyd jam, sort of Pink Floyd groove, uh, time, things of that nature. Um, it does have some very poppy songs. I take it back. Sounds like U2. Um, sounds like a sister to the song One Slip from Momentary Lapse of Reason. Uh, one unique thing about this album, it does have a it does have an um, song written by Rick Wright for the first time since Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, and the song in question is called Wearing the Inside Out. And it's a very slow, uh, nighttime sort of jazzy song. Um, also, you have um, a, a, a song that won a Grammy, actually, an uh, instrumental song called um, Marooned. And it's basically David Gilmore playing a very, very beautifully isolated guitar liquid guitar sound um but this album to me is one of my favorite pink floyd albums it's probably in my top it's definitely my top 10 um albums and probably would be in my top five if it you know hadn't been for like classic pink floyd albums of course which i'm never gonna like anything better than those albums but this is a very interesting album. And one personal interesting aspect of it is that my girlfriend uh, grew up, was born and grew up in that place right there, Ely. That's the Ely Cathedral in England. And so she grew up in Ely. And so she, this little, you know, or, well, it's not a little cathedral, but this cathedral was just something she saw every day. And to me... Um, you know, I think it's just so neat and cool that, you know, she was, I guess her hometown's featured on a Pink Floyd album cover. I love it. But, yeah, this um, it, this is a, a, a great album. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, my favorite songs off of it are probably um, What Do You Want From Me, of course. Um, I do enjoy A Great Day for Freedom. I do enjoy Poles Apart, which is a fantastic song. And there's a part in that that almost sounds like Adam Hart Mother. Like, I'm, you know, going back to that. But my favorite song off the album... Oh, and this also features Stephen Hawking, the scientist, in one of those songs called Keep Talking. Pretty interesting. But my favorite song off of it is uh, High Hopes. And that's right after a song called Lost for Words, which is also a good song. But High Hopes is... Uh, is one of my favorite Pink Floyd songs of all time. It is definitely in my, I would say definitely in my top five Pink Floyd. If not, you know, if not, it's probably number six. It's there. It's, um, I love this song. Absolutely beautiful song, beautiful way to go out. 
and it was their last album up until the release of uh, The Endless River in 2014. But The Endless River to me is just, it's almost like a series of clips. It's not a complete album in, in my opinion. But that is my review for Momentary Lapse of Reason and The Division Bell by Pink Floyd. These are a nice pair. Um, Post Waters Pink Floyd albums. If you enjoy this content or this channel, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And until next time, and until the next series of a nice pair of albums that I will review. Thank you. Take care.